my young friends. Welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today we will make a balloon popping game in Scratch Junior. Using a special balloon pop counter, we will also learn who popped the most balloons while playing our game. So let's begin. Open up Scratch Junior on your tablets, tap on home, tap on this plus to start a new project. Remove the cat by putting your finger on it and keeping it there until this cross shows and then just click on the cross. Now tap on this plus to add a new digital character. As you can see we have so many digital characters but we do not have a balloon here. So we need to draw our own balloon. Okay. So tap on this paintbrush and how can we draw a balloon? By using all these buttons that we have here. So we have this circle button. If I tap on it and select it and drag my finger on the screen to draw an oval shape. Okay. And then I can use this triangle and then draw a triangle here. And if I use this arrow tool and select it and then bring it in the center okay like this and then use this squiggly line tool to draw a line okay i don't actually like that line so i can use this scissor tool and then tap on it to remove it again line and then draw a line so this looks a bit better this is the string of the balloon now we can color this balloon so i'm going to color it red Choose the color, then choose the bucket, tap on it, and then drag your finger until this dotted line shows, the outline of the balloon. And this will color it. And color the triangle too, like this. So our balloon is done. So tap on this tick mark and it has been added. And similarly, we can add more balloons. So again, tap on the plus button, choose the balloon because we have already drawn it and we can just change the color so tap on the paintbrush choose a new color make sure that this bucket has been selected here you tap on it to select it and then drag your finger drag your finger again to the boundary and then change the color so we have now two balloons you cannot see the red balloon because the green balloon is exactly on top of it i can drag it to a new position now let's give a nice background to our game so tap on this picture button and then we can choose a background here so because it is winter so let's choose the winter one okay now that beautiful balloon counter that i showed in the beginning of this video how can we draw that? First of all, it is a digital character because it plays a role in our game. Okay, so we need to tap on this plus button and then tap on this paint brush. And we are going to be drawing that balloon counter, that scale. Okay, and to draw straight lines in Scratch Junior, there's a trick. Do not use this squiggly line because you will not be able to draw a straight line okay like this it will they will be always a bit slanted so how can we make sure to draw perfectly beautiful straight lines in scratch junior so there's a trick for it first of all i'm just going to remove these lines and the trick is that you use the square button so let me choose a dark color here and then drag your finger on the screen so actually you're drawing a rectangle but make sure that you join both the sides so that it actually becomes a very thick line. And as you can see, it's a perfectly straight line. This is a sleeping line and we also need vertical lines, those standing lines. Okay, just like a scale. So how can we do that? Again, make sure that the square button is selected and then just drag your finger and make these perfectly beautiful lines and we can even copy them and how can we do that use the stamp tool select it and you can see it has been copied 
and then we can use the arrow tool to bring it to a new position. Okay, so this is a way in which you can copy stuff, okay? So I think it, it was faster to just draw them, okay? So I'm just going to do that. See, it's faster this way. So just keep the two sides of the rectangle together to make a thick standing line, okay? And now comes the tricky part because I have to write one, two, three, four here, and I'm not very good at writing, so I'm just going to do it in front of you. I'm pretty sure that you will be able to do a better job. So one here, two here, three here. Oh my, three looks pretty terrible. Oh. The four is quite horrible, so I'm going to get rid of it and use this squiggly line and redraw it. Five. So please do a better job than me. Oh, that's seven. Looks like an arrow, but I'm pretty sure that you got the gist of it, that how we can write down the numbers. So just write slowly so that the writing is neat. Now, tick mark it and give this a good position on the screen somewhere here so that we can see it. Now, tap on the plus button and we want to draw a pointer that will be actually moving on the scale. So this digital character, this scale will stay here and there will be actually a pointer that will be moving on it, okay? So just tap on plus and tap on paint and then use the red color and just use the square tool to draw a line like this, okay? And then tick mark it and you, as you can see, this line is here. So I'm going to just bring it here. So this is like as if there's a zero mark here. So in the beginning, when the game is started, zero balloons have been popped and it will stay here. Now let's work on the balloon code. So tap on the balloon, tap on this yellow triggering blocks and choose the green flag and drag it down here. And this, what this block does is it tells that the game has started. So when the game starts, we want to give the balloon a floating effect on the screen. So let's make it move. Now these are the movement blocks. Move right once and then go up once like this. So if I test it by pressing this green flag button, you can see that it was moving a bit too fast. So how can I slow it down? I can slow it down by choosing a speed block from these orange control blocks. So as you can see that we have this one here, this is a speed block and I can bring it down here and tell that the speed should be very slow, okay? So if I try it now, you can see it is pretty slow, but it just moved once. We want it to, to move again and again, okay, in a loop. So how can we do that? We can use the repeat forever. This one, which will make it go forever, moving in that way, this block, and just plug that in. And now you can see the floating effect of our balloon. Now, how will we know that someone has popped this balloon? So from the yellow triggering blocks, choose this start on tap block, play the pop sound, this one, so use that, plug that in, and once it has been popped, we want to give the effect of it being popped when it is touched. So we are going to actually hide it for a while. So how can we do that? We can do it by using the magenta, this color, look blocks. So hide it, this is the block that will hide it. And when the balloon is popped, we also want this counter to move to tell that the balloon has been popped, okay? Because this is keeping our score. 
So we are going to send a message to. So how can we do that? Again, from the yellow triggering blocks, send a message and we can choose any color we want, but make sure that the received message has the same color, okay? So this will make more sense once I work on this character, but at this moment, I'm just going to send a red envelope, okay? So remember that, that we are sending a red envelope. And then I'm just going to wait for a while. So go here and then choose this wait block and choose the time here. I want it to wait for 30. This means three seconds, okay? So 10 here will mean one second and 30 here will mean three seconds, okay? And then show the balloon here, okay? So it, this will give her the effect that the balloon had actually popped and then it reappears. So it looks like as if it's a new balloon. Okay, so I'm just going to show it again after three seconds. And then use the red cap block to end the script. That is the code is completed here, okay? A piece of code for a character is also called a script. So this is a script and this is a script. Copy all this code to your second balloon because our green balloon will have the same code. So how can I copy this code? Just drag the code and take it to the green balloon and then drag the second piece of code script and take it to the green balloon. And if I go to my green balloon, you can see that it has the same code as the red balloon and the green balloon. So that is the way you can copy code from one character to another character. Now we are going to write the code for our pointer the pointer that has to move. So go to the character and from the yellow blocks, choose the one in which the envelope is opening, the letter is coming out. This means that it has received the message. And remember the color of the message that we sent? All the balloons were sending a red message. Okay, so I'm going to choose red color here and I'm going to make it move right. And then I'm going to close the script, finish off the script, okay? And if I try the game now, green flag, and if I pop the balloon, it disappeared, see? And then if I pop it again, see, it's moving. Now let's make this game more fun that we are going to make a game that finishes automatically after a certain time. So let's add a new screen. So tap on this plus button and choose a background for it. For example, I can choose this night scene and I'm going to remove the cat by tapping on it. And I'm going to write some text on it by choosing this ABC button. And I'm going to say, game over and I'm going to make it biggest and I'm going to make it white okay and bring it towards the center okay now when should we show our game over screen I want the game to automatically end after say 20 seconds so let's go back to our previous the first screen and we can write the game over code in any of our digital characters. So let's do it in our red pointer. And I'm now going to choose this green flag block. And when the green flag is tapped, what will happen is that it will keep a track of when the game was started and then it will take us to the game over screen after 20 seconds. So I am going to use a loop again. So from the orange control blocks, choose this block. And this block is different from our red loop that went on forever. In here, we can choose the number of times the code inside, the code, the block inside will repeat. So if I put a block here, it will repeat four times, okay? So I'm going to choose two here. So it will repeat two times, but what? A clock that says 99, okay? So we cannot put three digits here, so I cannot put directly 100 here. So I'm going to put 99. So 99 means almost 10 seconds, and then it will go on 
twice so that will make it 20 seconds and after this time is over I want it to go to my game over screen. So this is done. Add as many balloons as you want and race with your friends to see who pops the most balloons in 20 seconds. So I popped four balloons in 20 seconds. I was a bit slow. I could have done a better job. So I hope you had fun watching this video and making the game with me. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the fun Scratch Junior projects that I have planned for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.